Thanks for joining. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about how our sedentary lifestyle or being seated too often or too much during, a, during your day can lead to some tightness through your hips, which can then lead to tightness or strain in the low back and the hamstrings. So when we talk about our neutral spine alignment, the thing I want you to notice is the natural curve in your back body. So it includes your neck as well, but for today's purpose, we're only talking or thinking about this low back curve. If you're tight through the low back and the hamstrings, the tendency when you sit up will be to round through the lumbar spine. So you see the curve left and it turned into flexion. This is neutral here. You engage the waistline to hold your neutral spine. So if you're not sure what that feels like, you can just take your fingertips to your belly and then without changing the shape in the back body, pull your fingertips away or pull your belly away from the fingertips. So you're not pushing your hand into the abdominals, you're just pulling the abdominals away from the fingers. And you can see, um, so if I'm here and I'm not pushing, you can see my fingers move a little bit here. And that is a result of my abdominals moving, not my hands. So you pull the belly in and up. This helps to support the lumbar spine. So a stretch that you can do at home is just a wide straddle stretch. And the thing to watch, this is typically if you're not used to it or if you feel super tight through the hips or the hip flexors, your wide straddle might look like this and that's okay. So you find the distance that works well for you and the key to know if it works well is that you wanna to get to the point in, your, in the width of your legs that you're still able to keep the curve in the low back. Once you go too far, you'll start to feel this like tip under through the pelvis and you see that the low back curve is gone. So you decide on how wide or not wide your legs should be based on the curvature and the ability to keep your spine upright. The minute you wanna start doing this, you've just gone too far. So you find the position that works well for you and each day is different, right? So just because I did this one place yesterday doesn't mean that I'm necessarily going to be there today. So you find the spot that works for you. You can walk your sits bones back a little bit. It feels kind of like sticking your butt up and then sit up tall. This is a stretch that you can do sit, sitting like on the floor if you're watching TV. You can just sit against the couch so that the couch is helping to support your spine and then you're getting your legs open in this wide position, whatever the wide position is for you. So the other thing is once you get your legs in the position and your torso upright, be sure your feet stay active. So if you know anything about me, you know that I love all things related to the feet and foot foundation. If your feet are doing this, you see how my legs changed their position. These pants are really great for that, I just realized. So you want your bones aligned. And when you just get your feet active, like you're standing on them, that'll help to activate energy up through the legs. You can literally just sit here in this wide straddle position and be opening up through the hip flexors into the hips. You'll also be feeling a stretch to the hamstrings and maybe into the low back. If you were here and you're like, okay, or you practice it day after day after day and you're starting to notice an increase in your flexibility, then the next thing you could do from your wide straddle is try to keep your spine as long as possible. Hinge forward. So a hinge is different than a fold down. You see the difference here. From your upright plumb line position, it almost feels like you're just sticking your butt back and you hinge forward trying to keep your spine neutral as long as possible. So your fingers can kind of crawl forward and you keep this neutral spine. And then from your hinge, when you're as far forward as you can keeping neutral, then you pull the belly in and up and then you round through the upper back so that the entire spine rounds, but it rounds in a really long way instead of just like getting low. So this is definitely not like, don't invite your ego to this party. Find your neutral spine, adjust your legs as much as you need to to keep your spine neutral, you work from there. And if you did this every other day, practicing this wide straddle and then just really focusing on neutral spine, I would love for you to like either take a picture or write down what your feelings are on the first day, then the third day, then the fifth day and on so that you can see 
the progression of your flexibility. This will help to ease tightness and tension in the low back, the hamstrings, it'll help to open up the hips, and it's just a simple thing that you can do even when you're sitting at home, like paying bills if you do that sort of thing, like sitting on the floor. Um, try it, let me know. Remember to subscribe to my channel so that you're notified every time I put up a new video. And please always ask questions. I do also um, offer private trainings and one-on-one -on -one consultations if that's something you feel like you're interested in doing. I wish you a body filled with happiness. And that's from the inside out. So learning to love the body that you're in, learning to appreciate the body that you're in, and then working from there to practice. We all get to practice it over and over again. Take care, you guys. I hope you have a super great day. Bye.